At this point, the main view controller and bullseye is looking pretty great, but the about screen is still looking a little bit plain. This leads me to your next challenge. Your challenge is to pause this video and add a background image to the about screen. You should also style the close button to look like the hit me button, and you should play around with the properties of the text view in the inspector. By the time you're done, your about screen should look like this. If you get stuck, refer back to the previous videos in this section or keep watching for a solution. Good luck. All right, so let's start styling the about screen. So the first thing we want is to add a background image. So I'm gonna look down here for an image view and drag that into there. And I'm gonna resize it to be the whole size of the screen. Again, I could either drag it like this or I can manually type in 568320. And of course, I wanna make this show up in the back. So I can just drag it over here in the hierarchy to the very back. And I'm going to set the image here to background. Okay, now you notice right away that this text, uh, I can't see through it here. And that's because the background color for this text view by default is white. So if I scroll down here to find the background color, I want to change it to be transparent. So I'll just click that and drag the opacity over to zero. Now, of course, I got another problem that the text is not looking very good since it's black. So again, I will go here and I will change the um, font here to be custom. And I'll set it to the same font we've been using all over, which is Arial MT, Rounded MT Bold. And I'm going to increase the font a little bit. It's up to you. Um, I'll set it to 20. And I'll set the color to white by setting it 255, 255, 255. Make sure the opacity is 100%. Okay, next up, I'd like to change the close button. So I'm going to the background image for this button here. And I'm just going to set it to button normal and I'm going to change the text color of that to be white as well. I'm gonna set the text color of this to be the brown color, which is 96, 30, zero, with opacity of zero, um, with opacity of 100%. And I'm gonna make this button a little bit bigger, and I'm gonna change the font to be a little bit bigger as well. And change the font to custom and Arial MT bold. And then I'll also might as well change this about the author button too in the same exact way. So custom, change the font to Arial MT bold, change the size up to 20, set the image here to button normal, change the text color to the same, 96, 30, 0, 100%. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to change the image, I meant to change the background image change that color back and I'll make the button a little bit bigger here. All right, that's it. Now we'll test this out and I can click the about button and look, it's looking pretty good. You may notice one annoying thing here. Do you see how the edges of this close button look really nice, but for the about button, they're strangely stretched. This problem is because we haven't set up image slicing on this image like we did for when we set up the slider so that it can keep a certain part always the same and then stretch the rest. Now you can do this in code, like I showed you how to do the slider, but you can also do it using the image assets catalog. So I wanna show you doing it that way as well. So if I go back here to the assets catalog and I find the button normal image and I click that and I bring over to the inspector here. And in the third tab is the attributes inspector and the very bottom is something called slicing. And you can set up how you wanna slice the image in terms of what repeats. And the one we want is horizontal and it shows how much from the left do you want to always stay the same and how much from the right do you want to want to stay in and it'll stretch the rest. And actually in this case, about 16 pixels should be right for this image. So I'll just leave it at the default there. And that's really all I have to do. If I just build and run again, go to the info tab, check it out. Now the edges of this button aren't strangely stretched. It looks pretty good even though I've sized it to be bigger.